We are now just one week from Election Day, and a local candidate for State House is recovering after an alleged attack. Richard Ringer is a Democrat from Uniontown. He says he was knocked unconscious outside of his home. And Ringer tells KDK's Chris Hoffman that's not all. Chris. Kim Ringer says he's had his garage door vandalized. He's had a rock thrown through a window, and that was all before this attack that happened yesterday. Now, he won't say this is political, but the Democratic Party of Fayette County well, they certainly believe so. Two weeks ago, Richard Ringer had a message threatening his campaign sprayed on his garage door. Then last week, he came home to find a rock thrown through his storm door window. And Monday morning, he could hear people trying to get into his house. So I looked out the window and I saw flashlights going through the yard. I said, you know, I'm tired of this crap. He confronted a person near his garage and tackled them. That person allegedly punched Ringer more than 10 times. Knocked me out. I mean, I was unconscious. Ringer doesn't know who did this, and state police are investigating. He does believe this was targeted. The Democratic Party of Fayette County calls the alleged attack despicable. I personally believe it was political. I truly do. What happened to Nancy Pelosi's husband it happened to one of our candidates. And there is fear it could stop people from voting or working the polls. The Jewish Federation of Greater Pittsburgh is working to protect poll workers at five locations in the area using Jewish community buildings. It's unfortunate that it has to play a role in these upcoming elections, but it's there and we have to be mindful of it. Their director of community safety says there are no active threats, but they are working with police as there has been a rise in anti-Semitism. There is intelligence out there cautioning us that there could be some potential for threats. As for Ringer, he isn't letting these incidents stop his campaign. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Now, we did reach out to his opponent in this race, Charity Grimm Grupa, who, but we have not heard back from her. State police say they are working on investigating all of those incidents. We did reach out to Allegheny County, and they did say there are no threats that they know of against any poll locations or poll workers. To see the full statement, from the Pennsylvania Department of State on what they're doing to make sure everything stays safe, head on over to our website and app. Live this evening, Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.